This is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world. It is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. And so many of us around the world think that, um, well, sustainable development, it just sounds so great. Isn't it about recycling and creative reuse and, uh, and creating energy and food resources for everyone? And the answer is no, it really is not. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all. Because when systems don't meet, when they're, when they're out of balance or not in sync with one another, they can't be controlled centrally. And the goal of Agenda 21 is one world government and total control from a central unit. Every nation that signed on to Agenda 21 has its, uh, its local Agenda 21 plan. People in the United States are completely unaware of this. If I go out and talk about this, the United States press will attacks me and calls me which is it's totally ridiculous. It is a but it's not a theory. It's a fact. The three pillars of United Nations Agenda 21 are economy, ecology, and equity, the three E's. And everyone's sort of thinks that they know what that means, the idea of social equity. It must mean that, well, everyone's going to have access to clean water and clean air, and uh, no one's uh, property is going to be used as a dumping ground because they are at a poverty level. But really what social equity is about is about impoverishing huge portions of the population and bringing down uh, develop the developed nations everything that we're looking at now is destined to collapse our economies. It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world. And what major corporations want in this development is to be able to, uh, to have move, full movement of, of, uh, of workers without borders or boundaries, to be able to move their goods through without regulations, and to reduce wages. And so this is the goal. So this is what you find with social equity. And of course, economy and uh, ecology is about, these are the three circles, economy, ecology, and social equity. And where they meet in the center is balance. But really that balance is a communitarian balance. So it's not balance of well-being of the people. What it is is it's a balance for corporations so that they can exploit and control and have populations in an area, in tightly packed, dense areas, so that they can be surveilled and managed. And this is what that balance looks like as far as the development of a totalitarian state is. The mainstream media is owned by five major corporations, and you're not going to get this information from the mainstream press. So you need to be your own press. You need to educate yourself, you need to get out there and educate your neighbors, your community, your real community. You need to help your children understand that they're being indoctrinated from pre-kindergarten to post-graduate school. All of us have a responsibility to ourselves and to others. This is true community, to work for personal freedom. And always remember that even though we work as a group, if we do work as a group, we're all individuals in those groups and we answer only to ourselves. And this is essential. It's essential as, as, as free human beings, this is what we are. We are free, and we need to continue to be free. And I do believe that we will win, but we have to become aware that there is a fight, and then make our friends and our neighbors and our community aware as well, and work together.